Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. In this episode, we'll explore gap effects, otherwise known as adjustment layers. We'll take a look at what gap effects actually are, see examples of gap effects at work, and finally, walk through building our own custom effect. Gap effects or adjustment layers are simply empty tracks in which you add any of Smoke's effects. Any visible layers beneath this layer will be affected by what you place inside the gap effect. Here, in this example, we have a new video track placed over our edited sequence. I've placed a colour corrector on this segment which runs the entire length of the edit. If I turn off the visibility of video track 1, you can see that this layer does not actually contain any media. Adjustment layers are a great way of experimenting with creative ideas while leaving your edited clips untouched. By simply moving the timeline focus point down, it now ignores the track above. Move the focus point back up again and we see the effect that the adjustment layer has on our timeline. A common use of gap effects is using them to create text elements on top of your video sequence. For example, here I've placed a text effect into the gap which is above our main video track. It acts as a watermark that runs the entire duration of the sequence. A gap effect in smoke can be treated like any normal clip. You can move it, trim its duration, add transitions and most importantly add effects. Let's go ahead and create our own custom adjustment layer. As seen here in this example, I've created a basic vignette effect by adding a couple of effect processes to the gap effect above our main video track. Moving the focus point up and down, we can see the result of the gap effect. Create a new video track by right-clicking on the track header and selecting New Video Track. Selecting the video track, you can see that the blank video track is being titled Gap. First, let's apply a color corrector effect as we want to darken the edges of the video. Now, in the Color Corrector's basic tools, adjust the mask again to bring down the levels. Let's now add a mask so that the Color Corrector only affects the edges of the frame. As you can see, there is no mask tools in the Effect Type pop-up menu. We can, however, use the Wipe tool. After choosing the Wipe tool, enter the Advanced Editor. The Wipe tool defaults to an animated wipe that lasts the duration of the segment you applied it to. Let's delete this wipe and create our own. Click Delete down in the lower right hand corner and click Confirm. To create a new mask shape, click the Add button seen here. This activates the mask tool. See how the cursor has changed to a white cross here? Now click down and draw an elliptical shape that covers your image. Finally clicking down on the first point you added to complete the shape. The image is now dark on the inside of the shape. Activate the Outside button to invert the mask. Click on the mask points and move them to adjust the shape. Also dragging on the tangent handles helps improve the mask as well. The wider the tangent handle, the smoother the curve becomes between mask points. Finally, let's add some softness to the mask shape. Adjusting the offset value to a negative number feathers the edge shape outwards. Click exit when you've finished modifying the mask. Let's add one more finishing touch. We'll add some blur to the outside area as well. Add the axis effect tool. Now enter the Advanced Editor. Over on the right side are the Blur controls. Here, adjust the blur values to suit. For a smoother, higher quality blur, choose Gaussian from the Blur Type menu. Click Exit to return back to the timeline. By moving the focus point down and back up, you can see the result of the adjustment layer we have created. You can even use these adjustment layer type effects to create your own custom transitions. Here, we have a dissolve between two shots. We'll use a gap effect to make the image glow through the transition. Select the transition and hit X on the keyboard. This marks the duration of the selected item. Now move the focus point to our empty layer above. Pressing Shift and X will add cut points to the gap layer to match the duration of the dissolve below. Now you can see the gap segment has been created. Add a color corrector effect. Turning on Auto key will enable us to animate the values through the transition. At the start, we need to add a keyframe so that there is no color change. Right click in the Master Gain field and choose Set Keyframe. Now move the positioner to the center of the transition. 
Increase the gain value to a high amount to create the bright glowing effect. Move to the last frame of the gap effect. Right click the master gain value and this time choose Set Keyframe, Default Value. This returns the image back to the default state. Select the gap effect and hit the backslash key to render. Gap effects, or adjustment layers as you may know them as, are very powerful creative tools. First, you create a new empty track above your video and apply effects to that. The focus point of the timeline indicator helps you to view your timeline with or without the gap effect. To create a gap effect that matches the duration of a clip segment, first select the item, then move the focus point up to the empty layer. Hitting Shift and X will cut the gap effect to match the selected item's duration. Remember to share your experience with this pre-release trial over at the Autodesk Smoke Forum at the area. That brings to a close this episode of Smoke Training. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future episodes that get you up to speed on the basics, fast. Ah.